Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman, and I've shown you a number of videos around Windows 10, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I've got build to build upgrades, how to use Windows with just the keyboard, lots of videos on how to use Microsoft Office, but in this video, I want to show you on the released version of Windows 10, Xbox Game Streaming. Now, this is the real version, the real released version that went out to the Windows Insiders first. Uh, we're seeing it a little bit earlier than uh, everyone else, although it's going to continue to be upgraded every day. And I've installed it on my real machine. Now, I say real machine in air quotes like that because usually I've been using one of my laptops and putting Windows on that, but I had not yet put it on my real desktop, basically on my daily driver. This is my real computer right here. So I've installed Windows 10 on that machine, and I'm going to be talking to my Xbox One. Now, here is an Xbox One controller. This is the one that came with the Xbox One. And uh, here is a regular micro USB cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just plug in the top of the controller here with the standard micro USB. This is the same one you see on Android devices. And we'll plug it in to the PC. You never get USB in the right way first try or the second try. Now, you see this here? Look, right there. It says installing device. There's no drivers uh, that you need to download. They're, they're built in by default, and the Xbox controller will show up, see, right there, automatically. So Xbox One controllers show up on Windows 10. Now here, I'm going to go to the Start menu, okay, and I'm going to run the Xbox application. Now I've signed into this application using my Microsoft account, and you can see an achievement that I did a half an hour ago. You can see my games, and run around, see what games I have, okay? But if you come down here, see where it says connected, you click there, and it finds the Xbox on your network. See? It says connect automatically. Now I'm going to hit stream. You can have more than one network Xbox if you're rich, I suppose. This is streaming the Xbox. I'll stop it just to prove it. See? I'm on Windows. Okay, here's my Xbox app. Hit stream. We're connecting to the Xbox. And now look. So I can go and uh, run something. Now you'll notice though, if I try to like run TV or run uh, you know, Netflix, it's going to say, now you can't do that. That's not meant to do that. But uh, let's try Batman. Now when I'm doing this, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on this button here. You see where it says total bandwidth? This is a little internal thing. It's showing you how many megabits. See, this is 10, this is zero. So right now we're using about three to four megabits right there. Let me see if I can skip past this. I'll fast forward time to make uh, save a little time here. And you see when it's black, we're not sending a lot, but look, then a lot of complicated stuff showed up. So it's just like a Blu-ray. It's like streaming Blu-ray. High megabits when there's lots of stuff happening, low when there's nothing happening, and then it shows an average. You'll notice though, that in this case, I'm around five or six. So, you know, a good solid Wi-Fi, but you can click here in the corner and you can hit low quality. Now watch, see how it got a kind of blurry? It's still totally playable, but it just dropped down to three megabits. So it's more compressed. Now I'm gonna switch it back to high. Now we're up more like six. You see how it became very crisp? Now look, up, down, there's no lag. It's really smooth. I mean, we're looking at, you know, 20 milliseconds lag. No, you know, nothing discernible. It's really quite comfortable. Hit the Xbox button. Pick something else. It's really like being there. I mean, you've basically remote desktoped into your Xbox. I have tried this on this PC, on my Surface, on my uh, Lenovo machines. They all work great because basically what you're doing is remoting a video. Uh, you're, it's, it's remoting a video. It's almost like your own personal Twitch TV, if that makes sense. The same technology in the Xbox that takes the screen and then remotes it, compresses it, sends it across the wire up to Twitch or uh, up to a game center uh, is the same kind of idea. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump out of here, actually.
tell him that I did a did it was great. Now let me show you another interesting trick here. I think that more and more games we're going to see on uh, on Windows, not just on on Xbox. And the reason that I think that is, if you hit Window key and G, see that it says, "Do you want to open the game bar?" That just popped up when I hit Window G. And when I did that, let's take a look at the Task Manager. Watch. See this bar right here that popped up? That is this. See that right there? Game bar. If I right click on that and go open file location, way down in Windows System 32, there is a thing called Game Panel. Okay? And when I hit that, it says, Do you want to open the game bar? Yes, this is a game, sure. And look at that. It's a built in screen recorder. Now this is meant for games, but it turns out that you can screen record anything. Okay, so I can go and screen record uh, this, you know, the thing I'm recording right now. So you now we're recording this, hit stop. And then that recording shows up in the Xbox app underneath uh, game clips. See, there it is. I can go and say open folder and it made a little mp4 of the screen here so you can hit windows g on any machine that's got this installed and you've got a game bar so that's nice you don't need fraps or something like that anymore so i am totally 100 percent thrilled with how this has worked out uh, you get the game dvr you've got the ability to connect to the Xbox remotely. I can take my laptop into the garage and be on my treadmill and working out and playing at the same time. Uh, the Xbox controller works with Steam games. It works with the Xbox remotely. I can go up in bed and sit on a laptop and uh, finish a game that I was working on in the living room. Uh, as long as you have really, really good, a really good network. This is not the kind of thing you'd want to do on like an 11 megabits per second network. You'd be really saturating the network. I have a wireless N network. In this example, though, I've got a desktop machine uh, that I'm on right now that is connected into the wall. And that's using wired. It goes to a router and that goes straight over to the Xbox. So I think you're always going to have a better experience if you have uh, wired that said, I've had great experiences with a little bit of lag uh, with wireless, and it all depends on how quality your wireless. If you're getting great Netflix, you're going to get great uh, with this, especially because it's only going to be local. So that is Xbox game streaming with Windows 10. For me, probably one of the number one or number two reasons to, to upgrade to Windows 10. So definitely check that out. Please do subscribe to my channel. Tell people about it. Uh, it helps me out. It keeps me motivated. And feel free to ask any questions, comments down here in the comments. And if there's other videos that you'd like to see, do let me know. Thanks.